because I don't have a craft cutting board I'm gonna be using a chopping board I'm gonna be using a pencil an eraser craft knife I'm gonna need a paintbrush some acrylic paint is good to be acrylic to use on fabric I'm gonna need a roller paint roller some more acrylic paint a little bit of water and I'm gonna need a tote bag I DIY this painting tray and now we're gonna need a cereal box uh, I'll take my chopping board my cereal box I'm gonna open it the side I have already um, drawn some stencil letters to make this video a little bit shorter so yeah this is my previous drawing uh, in the word um, Microsoft Word you can look for the font stencil and write wherever you fancy and then print it out and draw or you can just draw from the screen of your computer this is the best font for stenciling because it's got the, the gaps, the exact gaps that we need for the paint not to run and for the writing to be clear. I'm not gonna start uh, cutting with my palette knife. This cut specific one I'm using is <laughs> a little bit hard comparing to ones I've used in the past so it's going to take a while to go over all the lines also try to be very gentle on the knife don't go too hard as you can rip the paper off and the lines will not be clear if you do that okay so this is my demonstration of how to cut a stencil. We've got an A and an N. I am going to be using a pre-made stencil that I used in the past to optimize the time uh, that has the words, some of the words that I'm going to use today. Prepare my tote bag, chopping board as a base again so the paint will not surpass to the table. I use a little bit of tape to secure my paper. Now I'm gonna pour some paint onto my paper tray. I am now going to place my stencil onto my tote bag and get ready to print. Testing is very important to avoid making mistakes. Ideally, you should only um, use one or two layers of paint always make sure that your board is well placed underneath your tote bag or any other material you're using as you can see i did add too much paint and some borders have paint has bleed into some borders If this happens to you, there's no need to worry, it can be fixed. I'm now getting ready to continue with the rest of my phrase. I'm gonna use my paintbrush to clean up some excess of paint and also some small spots that did not catch enough paint this technique can be used in any any kind of fabric really but um, i would advise you to use it mainly in cotton because it's very absorbent phrase just to put it in context is a short version of a Ghanaian proverb 
An army of lion led by a sheep can be defeated by an army of sheep led by a lion. It's basically about the power of working in group. If you want this paint to stay for longer, you will have to leave it drying for 24 hours. And after that, you can use a thin scarf, lay it on top of your paint, and iron it in low temperature.